The new series, Death and Other Details, takes us aboard a luxury cruise ship where a murder mystery makes everyone a suspect, including heiress Anna, played by Lauren Patton. Take a look. Yes. Have you left this room today? Good morning to you, too. Clean yourself up. Family meeting. Okay. Wait, why? Is everything okay? Everything's fine. Okay. You are making so much progress. There are peaks and valleys in the journey to self-control. I'll handle it. It's cool. It is not cool. They're looking for a murderer. Ooh, and Lauren joins me now. Welcome. <laughs> show is so great and it's getting so much buzz. Congrats on Thank it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so let's talk about just kind of like what it is so we can explain it to people. I mean, it's, yes. it's like a classic murder mystery set at sea with this crazy cast of characters, yeah. right? So um, tell me a little bit about Anna and, and how she kind of fits into this whole story. Yes. So Anna is the daughter of the Collier family and the Collier family takes all of these people on this vintage uh, refurbished ocean liner for a week long sail and she's set to take over her father's company. She She's very, you know, all business type. Yeah. And of course, it just gets chaotic once they actually set sail. Yeah. And so this is like an old school whodunit, though, yeah. right? So it's like, there's so many quirky characters, twists and turns. So when you all sat down for the first table read, mm -hmm. what was that like? And, and is the table read like, is everyone getting animated and really into it, or is it kind of flat? Well, our first table read was over Zoom because we filmed during yeah. the pandemic. So it was a little bit of a non traditional, everybody's muting and unmuting, and my cat in the background and all that kind of stuff. But really, the first time that we truly all got to be together was filming our first group scenes, which we have a few of them throughout the series where yeah. most of the cast is all together. And you know, you film those for days, so th those were a blast. Yeah. yeah, and so I'm just curious, whenever I see something like, it's such a beautiful setting, and you think, yeah. oh my god, you got to film all of this out on the water, mm -hmm. but you didn't film all of this on an actual boat, right? It was a mix of things. So some of it we were filming in a studio, but also we filmed on the Queen Mary, which was really cool. Yeah. I mean, it's a little a little scary as well for <laughs> yeah. me as a person who's a bit afraid of big boats, ironically. But <laughs> it's <too>. gorgeous. <laughs> and um, the, the production actually went and filmed in Malta, too, which was cool. And we yeah. were on boats on the water. I mean, it was and all over. I think this was from your Instagram, <laughs> yes. right? You Instagrammed some shots of it. So some yes. of it was in front of a, like a yes. screen. Yes, and then some of it we did do in front of a screen, of course, to control for weather and oh, all that kind of sure. stuff, too. Yeah. I mean, obviously, we can enjoy you on screen right now. It's such a great show. But okay. music is always such a big part of your life. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and you just released the first single from your upcoming EP. I'm about to, actually, yes, on Friday. On Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. and the first one kind of ties to your your Broadway yeah. background. Yeah, so it's an EP of covers. It's called Covers. And uh, me and my band have been doing reimaginings of some of our favorite songs for years, and we decided to finally record. And the first one is the Alanis Morissette song, All I Really Want, which, of course, ties into the Broadway musical I was in, Jagged Little Pill. Yeah. And that's my favorite song off of her original album, so I wanted I know, to start I with that. I love that, too. And I remember having that album and like buying it when it first came out. Yeah. I listen to that so much. I mean, it's a classic. It's oh, yeah, amazing. But, but like when it, when it comes to covers, it's mm -hmm. so hard to not only pick the right song, because I feel like there's some that, like it's hard to, like, you mm -hmm. don't even want to touch it. Yes, yes. Right? But you do Ariana Grande, Amy Winehouse, mm -hmm. um, so many more. But as they're like, it's like almost a fine line of making it your own and honoring yeah. the original, right? Yeah, I think you don't, you want to have respect for what the original artists did. And of course, yeah, we're choosing artists that are very singular and do their own thing. But to me, I think what we had fun doing was really finding how we wanted to arrange it, how it fits my voice, and also yeah. for the band, what they were inspired to do as an arrangement to make it our own. Yeah, I mean, do some songs work better than others? And you're saying, well, no, we're not even. Like oh, totally. We'll, we'll yeah. try a song and we just, especially if we don't find our way in, we don't know what our take You're is like, on it. We'll yeah, say maybe it's just not for us. Hard on this exactly. It, yeah. should, it should feel natural. Yeah. Are, mm -hmm. Do you have any plans to go on tour with this? I don't know about tour, but we are. It's not announced yet, but we're setting our EP release show. So we're excited to do that. And we love nice. to play at the rock venues in the city. So oh, we're excited very about that. Cool. Very cool. Well, so many great things happening with you. And you can catch Death and Other Details on Hulu now. And of course, check out the first single off Lauren's EP, Covers, out everywhere. You can stream music, right? Friday. Friday. Friday, Friday. for a single. Yeah, check it out on Spotify. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs>